We begin this edition of Health Talk discussing safety, just as we do each morning in Safety Huddle and at the beginning of each meeting at the Medical Center. The Medical Center has impressively increased awareness about safety with the rollout of numerous tools which will help us become a high reliable organization. Karen Neforis discusses the role of safety coaches and their importance to the organization. So in addition to all of the work that many of the staff members are very familiar with, educating our leadership team, educating our physicians, we also educated all of our staff members, about 2,400 staff members, in these principles and behaviors and provided them with a toolbox for high reliability behaviors. So part of the continuation of that work now is to bring the safety coaches in to keep that momentum going. They are the eyes and ears of the organization. They're our frontline staff. How do we use these safety behaviors? How do we take the tools that we've given to the staff and bring that to the front line? How do we keep that message alive and really continue this culture change? In high reliability organizations, safety uh, is, it trumps everything. Safety critical actions are um, tantamount. That's the most important thing. So without people to keep it alive and to be, you know, continuing to bring this to the front line, the work that we've done is, is going to dissolve. So that, that's the goal of the Safety Coach Program. One of the elements of being a high reliable organization is to reward and recognize our safety coaches. So in this episode of Health Talk, we recognize Rebecca Galloway of the Food and Nutrition Department. It's important to me because the safer my department is, the, the better we can serve our patients. And that's my goal. I'm always on the floor. I'm always out there, so I see more than they do, where I can um, prevent more if I can. And, I, and that's my goal, too. And it, and it makes me feel good because I'm helping myself and helping them. And again, it's for the patients. So it, it's, it's a win-win thing. 